grilled turkey spadini. Yum, yum, yum. Hi, welcome back. This week we're going to do an Americanized version of an Italian dish. Turkey spadini. Why? Well, for those of you who love turkey, especially spring turkey hunting, and you're going to end up harvesting some old bird that could be tough, dry, we're going to give you something a little bit different than maybe deep fried or smoked. This is going to come out tender, moist, flavorful. You're going to love it. And of course, we're going to have some wine recommendations to go with it. So please join us and when we're done our dish should look just like this so let's make some turkey spadini we started off with one turkey breast imagine this being a nice old tom that we've harvested and yes it's going to be kind of tough and dry and you're going to love this dish from that aspect for what we do it's going to make it much more tender a little bit uh, more flavorful, a lot more flavorful, as well as juicy. Now, what we did with the turkey breast is that, as you can see, we start off with our turkey breast. We remove the skin. Then we removed all the meat and cut it off into sections. Now, for a little bit of a bonus, we take some of the small pieces, and we're going to stir fry that up and toss it into an omelet or some turkey fried rice. The rest of it will just boil up, remove it off the bones, and give old Pino, our uh, family pet, a little bit of a treat. Now that we have our sections of the turkey, what we'll do is we will pound them down, put a little bit of uh, wax paper or saran wrap over it to avoid splatter, and you pound it out like so until it's about an eighth of an inch and it should come out like that. In addition to the turkey, our ingredients include one third of a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, one third of a cup of panko crumbs, one third of a cup of Asiago cheese, two teaspoons of lemon peel, two teaspoons of chopped up garlic, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of basil, two teaspoons of white pepper, and then of course your favorite pasta sauce, homemade, and you can also visit one of our earlier videos on how to make your own homemade pasta sauce, minced red pepper, and of course some chopped up prosciutto ham. So what we'll do is we just simply mix our crumbs, and our cheese and our spices all into this and then we're going to stir this up because this is what we're going to dip our turkey in we have taken equal parts of butter and olive oil melted the butter and mixed it and we're going to dip our turkey into our olive oil and butter and then mix it in this like so lay it out go to the next one and this is actually a very easy dish to do And there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can grill it, you can put it in the oven. We just simply put our pasta sauce across, much like we did our venison spadini. Once again, you can always reference that video. Our red peppers. Now you can soften them up one of two ways. You can do the easy way and just throw it in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half, or you can kind of saute them in olive oil. It's up to you. Depends on how busy you are with the kids. Then we'll grab a few toothpicks and we'll just 
just kind of gently roll this up. Spear this. Like so. Rather than the grill. About 400 degrees for about 10 15 minutes is all you need. And you're going to love the results on either. My personal favorite, however, is the grill. Permit, uh, time permitting, I should say. It's a little bit difficult when you're trying to watch twins. But you will enjoy both. And that's it. So the next step is that we would put this in the grill after we finish the rest of the turkey. We have the grill up and running. Let's put on the spadini. And you can see that we just flipped this one time already. It's looking really nice. We have that nice browning going on, but it's not burning, and you can just kind of hear that sizzle. You can see that it is done. It only took about 10-15 minutes. We only had to flip it twice. So let's scoop this up and put it on the plate and take it in for the next part. Now for my favorite part, and I hope it's your favorite part, the food and wine portion of this video. So let's just go ahead and dig in. You will find wonderful flavors with this dish. The turkey just melts in your mouth. It is very moist. It is not that dry type of turkey like we talked about earlier with some of these older birds. The other thing, you're going to love the way the pasta sauce, the prosciutto, the peppers, the breading, and the spices all just come together. And for our wine pairing, one of the things that I always love is a nice bottle of bubbles. And the Le Bourgeois, sparkling, made from Vidal grapes, is just killer. It's method traditionnel. You get that citrus flavor, and it just kind of complements this dish, but it cuts through the food, and nothing overwhelms one another. You will absolutely love it. And any, any type of sparkling wine will work, but I really, really enjoy this. This is just a wonderful example of what Missouri can produce. Now, the beautiful thing about being an American of Sicilian descent is that we can do whatever we want. And we're not obliged to have a specific wine from a specific region with our food. We can do whatever we like that we think pairs very well with the dish. And that's why even though Spadini is more of a Sicilian dish, and yes, we have Americanized this with turkey breast, we are going to go with a Piedmontese wine, Soretto Arnais Blanche. It is absolutely delicious. You're going to love these lemon flavors, the pear, the crispness, the way it just cuts through the food, but it just complements it. It has a nice weight on the palate. You will not be disappointed. And both of these wines are family owned, so you won't be disappointed. Like I said, give them a try. Also, wine, food is best enjoyed with friends or someone special. And that's why I also recommend visiting our friends at Hunting for Connections on Facebook. If you want to network with people around the United States for hunting privileges and swap, visit them. And if you're looking for someone to share a meal with and some wine and you're single, visit HuntingForConnections.com. It's a great dating site for those who are looking to meet someone. And it's based on commonality. We would like to welcome our first sponsor, Red Tail Strategies. Please visit them. 
If you're looking to organize as far as IT consulting, special events, political grassroots, to name a few things, a few of their services, visit redtailstrategies.com. Please share us with your friends. Invite them to like us on Facebook and YouTube. I'm Ray, and here's to living the wild wine life.